It's been a busy old week in the world of Nevis. So let's take a look at the new stations that have gone live, the latest states on the map, and a new tool that will help you track it all. Welcome back to Plug and Play EV, I'm Steve. Usually we do these Nevi updates towards the end of the month when we've had a full cycle to really take a look at everything that's happened and give them time to progress. This month it's been a pretty quick moving. We've had new states added to the map, new providers, new hardware. So I wanted to take a look at that and give some kudos to those who've just added themselves to the Nevi map. Also a new tool which you can use to track these developments, the latest awards, all of the money that's going to your state, different providers, lots of good stuff in there to dig down into for your local area. So let's have a quick update on some of the things we've seen so far here in December. Anyone who's followed the map that I popped up last month in the last update will be able to see that we've added the construction pips on the map as well as the sites that have been energized so that we have a better idea what's actually going on, on the ground versus what's on paper and what's been awarded but will be another six months, 12 months, 18 months, however long the state's plan takes. So hot on the heels of the first Texas site, we've had the first site live in Michigan. That is a Rivian site, so it's a new provider there, new network and a new set of hardware, obviously, as Rivian and designs its own dispensers in-house. These ones are special because the Rivian network only just opened up to non-Rivian electric vehicles before that and still for a lot of the network in the Rivian Adventure network it is private still only for Rivian. Folks are calling the Gen 1 sites. Gen 1.5 has taller cabinets, payment card readers on them and longer cables that are able to reach different port locations. So these will be beneficial. It's obviously a shame on the wider note that uh, the Rivian Adventure network hasn't opened up completely. There's coming on to 100 sites there that would have been useful but for what it it is we've got now uh, in the Rivian Adventure Network Joshua Tree, Del Norte, Colorado, this site in Michigan and a new one in Queensbury, New York now and they seem to be opening up a bunch of these version 1.5 sites so look for those if you're looking to charge on Rivian. But this Rivian Michigan Nevi Award is in Lansing, Michigan in conjunction with Mayers, a grocery chain that we used a few times. They've got Electrify America stations uh, over in the Midwest there but in this case Rivian has partnered with them and they do have some other locations going live in Michigan just through Mayer themselves. This is the first time that Rivian has won a Nevi award and has delivered here so they've put Michigan on the map in terms of Nevi and that is the first site that's gone live this week. And then over in Wisconsin, not to be beaten by their Great Lakes neighbor, uh, Quick Trip added not one, not two, but three new stations in their new Quick Charge umbrella. So they now have four Quick Charge locations, all in Wisconsin, three of which are Nevi funded. Those are in Chippewa Falls, Ashland, Wisconsin, and the wonderfully named Menominee. I think that's how you pronounce it, but we'll leave the pronunciations for fun to Walter at the Network Architect channel. But these are good locations. Ashland especially is way up in the north there on the lake and uh, a useful location for travel. And then the other locations closer to the center of the state heading towards Minnesota. Really useful additions and good to see them. These are also some of the first that are including the J3400 plug as well as the CCS1 that's required by Nevi. We saw that first down in Texas where the first station activated last month late November with J34 handles as well as the CCS1. That was ABB hardware. This is SK Signet and they've chosen to go with four dispensers with uh, dual handles. So you have one CCS1, one J3400 on every unit there and they have four two in banks and uh, not any canopies that I've seen so far but worth keeping an eye out on those because some of the quick charge locations at Quick Trip will have a canopy. And then continuing its progress Texas has activated a second station which was the Tesla supercharger a V4 unit down in Gainesville Texas so with those additions in Wisconsin, Texas, and Michigan, we passed the 40 mark. We should now be up to 41 Nevi stations by my count across 12 states, many of which now have multiple stations, including Wisconsin and Texas there. One correction to last month, the November update, it did have 16 stations that we thought were open. Actually, Jeffersonville, Ohio, the pilot flying J there. Location was not actually able to open. It had brief charging sessions, but then went back down again. So still awaiting that to open. And that one joins the Belden Park crossing location for EVgo. I'll then move on to round two. So crossing those off the list will be a milestone and it will come 14 months after the first site broke ground in Ohio in October, 2023. 
Obviously this starts to get hard to track, that's one of the reasons that I started this, was to uh, give some maps every time and get an idea for what's going on. Thankfully some of that lift has been taken off uh, our plates as individual EV drivers and people trying to track it. You can now use this site down below that I'll put up in the description as well and the video link so that you can take a look and drill down into the Nevi dashboard which looks at agreements, awards, locations, who's been awarded different amounts and how many ports at each location, lots of different things. Also it does can include the open stations but uh, that may be a little bit of a lag on the data updates there so still we'll be able to bring you the latest stations that have been activated, the ones that are under construction on the ground, that kind of thing. So these Nevi updates I hope will still be valuable but this is a really useful tool to dig into how many awards have gone out there, what's pending and what could be brewing for 2025 which is a lot. If we look at 41 now within about a year it's just over a year since the first site came online in London, Ohio. That's now accelerated to pushing 50 here. If we have a similar month December to November we should get past 50. Really depends there's a bunch of sites out there that are under construction. A lot of Tesla superchargers, a lot of Evolve New York locations and then a bunch of others that are really starting to pick up pace here with Love's Quick Trip and obviously we start to get these sites like the Rivian one which wasn't even really on my radar and so take a look at that and just uh, let me know what's happening in your state. If you see anything interesting always interested in getting this and updating our on the ground map so that we know what's under construction and what's close to activation. Keep those reports coming in, send the emails to plugandplayev at gmail.com, happy to receive those, and uh, let us know what you're thinking about the Nevi program in your area, if it's in your area. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.